evening. Are we on? Good evening and a blessed Monday Thursday to you all. We're glad you're joining this worship tonight. I invite you at home, if you would like to take a minute to gather a basin, a pitcher of water and a towel, you may join the foot washing in a few minutes. And you may also want to get a small piece of bread and some wine and join in this last Eucharist before Easter in a sense of community and honoring what we do. It won't be consecrated, but it will certainly be part of our community with each other. We'll give you a minute to collect those things if you would like. Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that the hour had come to depart from this world. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Jesus got up, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel. Jesus came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. So Jesus washed his disciples' feet. Then he put on his robe, returned to the table, and said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. If Christ, our Lord and teacher, has washed our feet, we also ought to wash one another's feet. As Christ says, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If we know these things, we are blessed, and we do. I invite you to 
come forward, wash each other's feet. And we will do the same here. to charity and love dwell. God himself is there. Since the love of Christ has joined us in one body, let us all rejoice and be glad, now and always. And as we hear and love our Lord, the living God, so let us in sincerity love all people. Where true charity and love dwell, God himself is there. As we are all of one body, when we gather, let no discord or enmity break our oneness. May all our petty jealousies and hatred cease, that Christ the Lord may be with us through all our days. Where true charity and love dwell. God himself is there. Now we pray that with a blessed you grant us grace to see your exalted glory. O Christ our God, our boundless source of joy and truth, of peace and love, forever and forevermore, world without true charity and love dwell, God himself is Live in charity 
and steadfast love with injury God will dwell with you live in charity and steadfast love live in charity God will dwell with you live in charity and steadfast love live in charity God will dwell with you I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, and I will not eat it again until the kingdom is fulfilled. Hearing these words, one of the disciples began reading the traditional Passover story, scriptures about the night when God led their own forebears from the death of slavery toward new life in the promised land. As it is written in the book of Exodus, God said to the people, Pharaoh is stubborn and refuses to let you leave Egypt. Now my wonders will be multiplied. Prepare a special feast to mark this new beginning in your lives. But keep your street clothes on. Don't wait for your bread dough to rise and eat quickly. For on this very night, I will strike a final blow against everyone who has oppressed you. All of you will be kept safe because I will pass harmlessly over you. This is the Passover of the Lord. In memory of this night, you must tell the story and keep this feast every year, you and your children together, so long as you shall live. I invite you at home to bring your wine and a small piece of bread to where you can reach them. I say small because you will consume the whole piece, as will we tonight. Love and Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your arms, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty God. Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For our sins he was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself. And by his suffering and death, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore we praise you, join in our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we have fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself, in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, holy God, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling Christ's death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in you. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty God, now and forever. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God, given for your salvation.
this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you will not think. After singing a hymn, the disciples went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Going a little further, Jesus threw himself on the ground and prayed, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want but what you want. Jesus came to the disciples again and said, Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Let's go. 
You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. <laughs> 